everyone, so today we're talking celebrity fragrances and the reason that I wanted to come on and make this video is because I feel like we talk about perfume so much, I'm a big, big perfume addict and I feel like sometimes a lot of the celebrity fragrances get kind of overlooked and they kind of get treated like the inferior fragrance and in a lot of cases that isn't the case, in a lot of times there are really, really beautiful fragrances out there that are also much more affordable, which is key here. And a lot of them are actually made in the same factories as the large perfumes and made by proper perfume companies. So I wanted to just jump right in and talk to you about all the ones that I own and what I think about them. So this is going to be kind of my celebrity fragrance collection and review. So the first one I've got right here is one of the first perfumes I ever owned and I've always had a bottle of this since. This is the Glow by Jennifer Lopez. Now the bottle of this looks a little bit different because it does kind of have a metal chain that goes downwards but my one broke. This is a really great fragrance because it's just a very fresh jasmine scent. That's all it smells like. It's just clean, jasmine, sexy, very fresh and just a very beautiful easy to wear type of fragrance. The bottle is kind of nice, I suppose. It's not my favorite. I will touch on design in a minute. It's not my favorite, but a very, very beautiful fragrance indeed. Then I have got the Kate Moss one, and this is one of those fragrances that I think will generally appeal to everyone. It's the Kate by Kate Moss. This was the first fragrance she brought out. Very pretty, floral, light, doesn't last particularly well, but a nice kind of one to just throw in your handbag and top up throughout the day. It won't compete with anything else you're wearing and just a very pretty, easy to wear fragrance. And the bottle's kind of very, um, kind of simple, but pretty and very inexpensive. As I said, most of these perfumes are kind of under 20 pounds. Then I've also got this one right here, which again is one I've had for a very long time. And this is the Intimately Beckham by David Beckham. I've got a bit of an obsession with brand Beckham in general, if I'm honest, but this is a great, great everyday fragrance. It's very kind of elegant smelling. I'm gonna put a little bit on now because I haven't got any perfume on. Very elegant, very pretty, slightly more mature, something that I think would be a really nice gift if you're buying it for your mum or someone like that, and it's a very nice kind of pretty scent. Not something that you can kind of not like, if that makes sense. It's a very universally um, flattering scent and it settles nicely on the skin as well. Bottle of this I think is lovely. It's very similar to the Gucci, I can't remember what it's called, but one of the Gucci ones, very similar. Then what else have we here? I think this video would be incomplete without a mention of Britney Spears <laughs> fragrances. I've tried most of them. Um, I did used to quite like the one called Believe, I think, but I haven't got that one in this video. The one I use in the winter time is this one, and this is Midnight Fantasy by Britney Spears. A very pretty fragrance, very sweet, so it smells like blueberries and very kind of vanilla-y, and I'm not a massive vanilla fan, but it does settle on the skin quite vanilla-y, and I like to wear this in the winter time in the evening. It's not an everyday scent, it's something that I think is nice for kind of special occasions, and it's very, very inexpensive. The bottle of this I kind of quite like, even though it is a little bit tacky looking, but I like it. Then I've also got this one right here by Kim Kardashian, and I've actually got two Kim Kardashian ones. This is the original Kim Kardashian one. Bottle is kind of not my taste, but... The scent is beautiful. It's so floral and it kind of smells quite powdery and it's very like um, gardenia based. It's beautiful. I really, really love this fragrance. And then the second one is this one here, which is the Kim Kardashian Gold. I'll show you what the bottle of this looks like. This is a kind of more sexy, sort of mature scent. Both her fragrances are very kind of sexy smelling um, in general, but it's just a very pretty, slightly sweeter one, but a little bit more a little less floral and a little less powdery. The bottle of this I really like. I think it's quite um, like the Gucci Guilty. I like that one a lot. So that's that. Then I've also got a couple here by Beyonce, which is interesting. Now I will admit these aren't my absolute favorites, but I wanted to mention these because I think a lot of people will really like these. So over here I've got Beyonce Heat and Beyonce Midnight Heat. Both very similar. 
um, in terms of design. The Midnight Heat is the slightly kind of sweeter, sexier version, more of a nighttime fragrance. And then the other one, which is the original Heat, is slightly more of a kind of um, daytime appropriate fragrance, if that makes sense. I don't love the design of these, but I think these are something that a lot of people will really like, and they're a good gift option. And the bottle of this is quite kind of Lancome-esque, and it's something that I think a lot of people have probably not ever noticed. I never noticed those before, I wouldn't have picked them, but I got the chance to try them, and I can understand why they are very popular. Then the last two that I'm going to mention. First one is Wonderstruck by Taylor Swift, and this is very, very sweet. I think the design on the box is beautiful. I keep all the boxes of my perfumes. The ones I've just showed recently are kind of newer ones, so they're not all um, out of their boxes yet. But the bottle looks like this, very similar to the Britney Spears one, in fact. But I really like this. It's very sweet and pretty and girly. Again, something I'd probably wear in the kind of cooler months, not so much now, but a very pretty one. And then I've also got this one that I forgot to mention by Rihanna, and this is the Rebel Fleur. The packaging of this is nice. You get a huge amount for the price. It's 20, I think it's like under 20 pounds. And this is what the bottle looks like. Now I will admit the bottle's not my taste at all, but the fragrance on the other hand, it's very pretty. It's a very nice, easy to wear, classic, everyday scent. Not what you'd expect from Rihanna as well. And an honorary mention to one that I haven't got here is the Lady Gaga fragrance. I really like that one. I think that's a great winter scent. But I think my all-time favourite one would have to be this one, which is Lovely by Sarah Jessica Parker. The bottle of this is beautiful and understated, and this is a great dupe for one of my all-time favourite fragrances, which is Matisse Rodriguez for her very very similar go and smell both of them the Narcisa Rodriguez was what not really Rodriguez was what I meant to say is a little bit more um stronger and pungent and slightly more grown up than this this is just a little bit lighter but I feel like they're kind of the day and night versions of each other a fraction of the price as well so this is my absolute favorite but I hope you enjoyed this video and I just hope that it'll kind of help you look at celebrity fragrances a little bit differently now and I'd love to know what your favorite ones are if there's any that I'm missing here let me know I'm always intrigued by it and I hope you enjoyed this video and the fact that it was just something a little bit different